Hi, I'm Constantine. And if you're watching this, that means you're interested in recording an online lecture for your class. In this video, we'll go over what we can do for you in the CGM lab and what you should do to prepare your lecture. So what can we do for you? Well, we can start with filming in the studio. It's fairly easy. We just record you giving your lecture in front of this curtain and you can stand or use your choice of swivel chair. You could use a whiteboard, but why would you do that when you can use graphics? Like this, or this, or even this. That's all well and good, but what if you want a more interesting background? Well, then you're in luck. Because the Media Lab also has a green screen. And when you're using the green screen, you have your choice of 20 different backgrounds. You can also use graphics just like in the studio, but we can also move you around the screen along with them. Now, there are some rules you should follow when using the Media Lab to produce videos. So let's go over some basics. First, your script. You should keep your script under 15 minutes. If it's any longer than that, you should consider dividing your lecture into sections and recording each one as its own video. And when you're writing your script, write it as a text file or Word document and give us a copy. That way we can copy and paste that text file into the teleprompters we have built into our cameras. And rehearse your lines a bit before coming in to record. We only have so much time to film and even a little bit of practice can save a lot of time. Also, work stopping points into your script. You won't want to record your entire lecture in one take, so make the gaps in between takes feel natural. Now on to graphics. When putting graphics into your video, we can either put them in a box on screen or just put them up if they have a transparent background. Give us any text you want to use as a text file and any images you want to use as individual JPEGs or PNGs. That makes it easy for us to just drop them into the video project without spending a lot of time pre-processing them. Speaking of which, if you want your images to have a transparent background, try to find or make images that have an alpha layer built in. Trying to add an alpha layer after the fact is usually easier said than done. We can make graphics for you if you want, but the longer we have to spend on stuff like that, the longer it takes for your video to be ready. Okay, so if you want to use the green screen for your lecture, there are a few rules you're going to need to follow. This probably goes without saying, but don't wear green in front of the green screen. Green screening or keying works by removing green from the footage and replacing it with something else. But computers also use green to make other colors like yellow and cyan. So colors that are close to green can cause a lot of issues when you're keying. Blue jeans in particular don't seem to mix well with green screens. We can fix it in post, but that means the video will take longer to make and it will be a bit harder to make the video look good. Also, keep an eye on any patterns that your clothing has. Even a little bit of green on a shirt can wind up looking really weird when you're trying to key footage. Keep your background in mind too. For example, a blue shirt might blend in too much with a blue background. Lastly, don't wear too much white. A little bit of white is fine, but we're going to have a lot of lights shining on you during the production, and given how reflective white is, a predominantly white outfit will end up looking a bit blown out in the final product. So, in short, if you want to make a video to supplement your lectures or flip your classrooms, then put in a ticket with the help desk, and we'll help make it happen.